Hi friends, it's Saturday night and it's time for we in the Mountain Sky Conference of the United Methodist Church and our friends to come together for prayer and reflection. We welcome you to this time. As always, we invite you to put your name and where you're from in the chat. It's our way of recognizing one another. If you're coming at another time, please feel free to put your name in the chat. Uh, because we will look through this during the week. Hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, we just got back from uh, Florida and Arkansas, spent a week with some friends, worked remotely in some sunshine, which was wonderful, and then stopped to see my sister and her daughter. My uh, Her daughter, Ariana, was in her last college play. So uh, it, it was great that Robin and I could come and watch her but we're home now and it, sorry we missed the snow it seems like whenever i go out of town it snows so um gonna enjoy what little bit we have but please i invite you put your name down i see deb scott from lovely lane our historic united methodist church uh, deb's the pastor there good to have you olga from west jordan good to have you here with us Dave, good to have you. Welcome. Jamie from Cheyenne, glad you're here. Connie and Carolyn from Greeley, always good to see you. Michael Gore, yeah, it was wonderful. Thank you so much, but good to have you here. Wanda from Cheyenne. Belinda, good to have you here from, from uh, Boulder. Jen, glad to have you here from Denver. Oh, look at all of us. Beth from Golden and Glenn, welcome from um, right near me. I think we're neighbors, Glenn. Uh, Vicki from Maine, good to have you. Vicki's going to be coming to Denver next week. We're looking forward to seeing her. Pat Minton from Fowler. Pat, hope you're having a happy birthday weekend. Sharon from Smoky Hill. Patricia Brown from Minnesota. Oh, it's so good that we're coming together. Greetings from Meeker. Stacy. glad you're here with us. I invite you all, just keep putting your, your name down. Let us know you're here. And um, it's just so good to gather together. I want to um, wanna talk a little bit about um, uh, the world just feels so incredibly broken today. Uh, my heart is heavy as I watch with horror the violence Russia has unleashed against the Ukrainian people. Seeing families huddled at night in subway stations, bombed buildings, bloodied civilians has horrified me. Those images overlay in my mind's eye with Jesus weeping outside the gates of Jerusalem. If only you knew the things that make for peace. We United Methodists believe that war is incompatible with Christian teaching. Ours is a gospel of peace, one that builds up community because we view one another, each and every one of us as God's beloved. War disregards the image of God that yes, even our enemy bears. War turns people into objects that can be thrown out, cut down, destroyed. And war in the 21st century further erodes the shared humanity we have by turning war games into video games with no sense of the human toll. So tonight, I want us to be the peacemakers Jesus called blessed. I want us to be the children of God that invite others in to the human family, building one another up, not breaking each other down. I want us to live into Romans 12. Romans 12 says this, Do not repay anyone with evil for evil. Be careful to do what's right in the eyes of everyone. If it's possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Did you hear that? As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. 
Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it's written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If she's thirsty, give her something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. I say, say what? If your enemy is hungry, feed them. If she's hungry, give her something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on their head. Now, I had to look that up because that just sounds like a horrible thing to do to someone. Heap burning coals on their heads. Well, it turns out that in the time when scripture was written, it was really important to keep your hearth burning, your hearth, hearth, hearth burning. And you actually would even carry live coals on your head to bring to your neighbor in case theirs had gone out, their home fire. So you feed them, you give them something to drink, and you keep their fire burning. Uh, that actually really is a powerful image for me. Scripture ends with, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So tonight I want to lead us in some guided prayer because we need to pray hard, my friends. I believe prayer, with prayer we can move mountains. And so I want to focus our hearts and minds together on the things that make for peace. So I, I invite you to pray with me. First, I invite you to breathe in and hold. And now exhale slowly. Breathe in again, hold, and exhale. May we continue to do this to slow down, to calm our hearts, and sink into God's spirit. Now, hold in your heart, hold in your prayer, the frightened Ukrainian child. Pray for the leader of the Ukraine country. Pray for the Ukrainian people whose lives have been disrupted by war. Don't turn away from their suffering. Don't turn away from their fear. Don't turn away from their love of their country. Pray for their strength. Pray for God's comfort. Pray for their protection. Now, do what scripture tells us to do. Hold in your prayer the Russian soldier. Hold in your prayer the Russians who are risking their own lives by protesting the war on the streets throughout Russia. And yes, even pray for Vladimir Putin. Seek understanding. Seek connection. Pray that hearts at war may turn to peace. And now, hold in your prayer a world that is impacted by war's devastating power. Pray for leaders everywhere, for their wisdom, 
pray that countries do all in their power to end the conflict. Pray for all that's impacted by the power of war. Pray for the environment. Pray for all living things. Pray for children around the world watching, not fully understanding, but terrified. Now pray for an end to violence that's closer to home. Pray for an end to the violence that exists in towns and cities, not only a world away, but in our own hometowns. Pray for those who feel that only a gun can solve their problems. Pray for those who feel they can only be heard if they use fists or harsh words, or bullying behaviors. Pray for those on the receiving end of such aggressions. Pray for healing in all the broken places around us. Pray for yourself right now. Pray for the broken places in your own life, those places where you have a heart at war. Pray for disarmament of your soul, those places and ways you build walls, those ways you dismiss others, those ways you put down your neighbor, those things you do that cause separation, that diminishes the spirit of another, all those acts of small violence, pray that you lay them down and take up a mantle of peace. Pray for an undefended heart. Now I invite you to pray out loud with me. Pray this out loud. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Say it again. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. One more time. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. In these ways, we seek the hope that's found in the second book of Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, dear siblings, rejoice, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Amen. How can we pray for one another and our world? I invite you to write your prayer concerns in the chat. As mask mandates come down, I pray that um, we may have turned a corner but may we be cautious as masks come off that we don't have another rise. Other prayer concerns. We pray for Pastor Jean Schwen, who's in hospital in Grand Junction.
other prayer concerns. Please feel free to put them in the chat. We continue to pray for our brothers and sisters, our siblings in Tonga as they recover from the tsunami. Dave, yes, I saw that. Um, if you, if people have not seen Ann Weems, I no longer pray for peace. I pray for miracles. That was very powerful. Pat Minton, who's celebrating a birthday. Thank God for another year of life. Amen. Beth, prayers for Matt Thompson, your nephew who passed away on Wednesday. We certainly pray for you, Beth, and all who loved and knew Matt. Wanda, my coworker, was admitted to hospital as it's time for a new baby girl. We celebrate the places of new life. Lucilene, pray for Joseph and Rich. Belinda, those negatively, Belinda, those negatively impacted by the December 30th Marshall Fire in Boulder County, Colorado. Tomorrow there's going to be a witness, a protest against some of the um, policies that uh, are being put in place that will make it very difficult for people to return to their homes. Thank you, Belinda. Carolyn, for my daughter-in-law's mother who's facing end of life and for their family and loved ones. Thank you, Carolyn. We are a people who pray. Friend Bob in rehab to get stronger. Thank you, Alice. Let's pray together. Gracious and loving God, how good it is to come together to pray when the world is falling apart and we have no words, when all we have are sighs, hear our prayers. Know the things that weigh heavy in our souls, the things that break our hearts. We pray for those who are sick, those who are battling disease. We pray for those who have passed on. We pray for those who grieve their loss, that they may be comforted. Gracious God, in this war-torn world, we ask that your Holy Spirit bind us together. Make us a people who in any place where our hearts, our lives, our communities, our nation, our world is at war, that we might turn to peace. May we learn the things that make for peace and be those blessed peacemakers, the children of God. Gracious God, help us live into the oneness of your world, as we remember, this is my song, O God of all the nations, a song of peace for lands afar and mine. This is my home, the country where my heart is. Here are my hopes, my dreams, my holy shrine. But other hearts in other lands are beating with hopes and dreams as true and high as mine. My country skies are bluer than the ocean and sunlight beams on clover leaf and pine. But other lands have sunlight too and clover and skies are everywhere as blue as mine. Oh, hear our song, O God of all the nations a song of peace for their land and for mine. Amen. My friends, may you go from this place ready to take on the mantle of being a peacemaker in all you do, in all you say. God bless you. Until next week.